Morning. I've just done a, a line and wash autumn we've seen for Patreons, Patreon, on Patreon. So I thought I'd be fair and uh, have a go at another one for my friends on YouTube. There's a link to Patreon at the end of the video. I hope you have a look at it. Right, uh, so, um, fairly low horizon. Uh, just I think these these paintings they they tend to to look better than they are because it's the contrast between the black and the white. to pop. A path coming in from there, I think. I'm not happy with that brush. Let's change it back to that one. These are, are good fun to do, they don't, well, try, try yourself, yourselves. Don't want much foreground. My little uh, lid, I get these from my my beer mix, my beer. So I make homemade beer from kits and the cans of malt. Or, yeah, malt. And uh, there's no lovely lid, so I've got a big collection of these. Right, put in a big... Uh, Oh, that's good. The, uh, there's been an arrest made from that, the Dover, of a suspected attempted bomber on the tube train, underground train, yesterday. My son and daughter travel by public transport into London every day. We want to put a bit of try to get a pleasing shape to your trees. Mm. 
best time of the year to plant trees, late autumn when the leaves have more or less fallen off. Don't try to put every blade of grass or or sort of carried away by thinking you have to put it all in, you don't. It's what you leave out, makes the painting. Let's get one colour across here. Remember branches go behind as well. Well, that'll do for that one. We'll put another one in. Just want to, just use getting rid of some of that paint on there. The worst things that happens to me when I do these. Are, I'm expecting a couple of packets of watercolour paper from Ken Bromley. Alan Owen mentioned that he's, he's using it and he recommended it as the Smoothie 77. Both wonderful artists. Okay, well I think we've done more or less enough for that side. Let's just get that around there a little bit. I like it, eh? Right, let's do something on the other side. Try not to repeat yourself on the other side, just... Eighteen year old man. He's probably born here. So what's he got against us really? Okay, I reckon that'll do for the uh, number of trees. Let's just do a bit of calligraphy now. This is just, just ordinary cheap acrylic paint. It's waterproof when it's dry. Say buying those. See, but the problem with buying um, bottles of ink is that they they solidify long before you've actually used it. It seems to be a bit of a waste of money. doing trees. Just 
try to make sure you've uh, tapered them. I'll probably put some ivy on there. Just a bit of, bit of stuff. Painting won't take very long. Oh, I just want to just get that a bit more solid in there. Okay, we're just going to do a bit of a bit of drawing in here. Wish I could do this with with cottages and villages, but I can't. Uh, plus the fact that my wrists hurt these days, and to try to cramp my hand up with tight work would uh, be quite painful. Didn't help packing up loads of uh, my paintings. I've got hundreds of thousands. Put them in the loft above this loft room. That'd be my kids' legacy. Should there ever be a great demand for my masterpieces? Nearly done. Okay, I reckon that's uh, good enough, or I've done enough, shall I say. I'm going to dry that, so be prepared to take your headphones off. <coughs> there you go. Once it's dry, it won't uh, dissolve with the, with the first wash of water. Right, I'm going to I'm going to wet in with the mop, not the mop with the uh, with the um, hake, and I'm going to use this uh, this Japanese or Chinese brush to do all of this. So and maybe a bit of wriggle work. So I'm going to just clean my brush because from the last painting, just wet the paper which is about 15 to 20 degrees so it's not running down quite so fast as it used to when I was doing these things upright which is not an ideal way to paint wood colours okay I sort of have um, fashions with uh, with my skies Although my paints are quite moist these days because I keep them in a stay wet palette overnight, I, uh, I well you change, don't you? You you find different colours, but I, I still won't get away from the old lovely raw sienna, which is a great colour for unifying everything. I remember an artist that used to demonstrate for Carl Shorten and Warrington Art Group, which I was a member for many years, Ken Birkinshaw. He would do his half imperial watercolours. He would draw it out by dotting with a bit of, bit of light grey, very light grey, and he would dot his uh, painting, the drawing, he put his drawing, whatever he was doing, whether it was a lake or a forest or whatever he was doing. and. Then he would do his painting and the dots would disappear, of course. And when he was bone dry at the end, maybe with a hair dryer, I can't remember, um, he would give the whole painting a wash of raw sienna. Uh, it made such a difference, it just pulled everything, it just 
brought everything together. I'm not going to try it myself. A bit red. Oh, I love it. Oh, I do like red. It's probably yellow in there as well. Okay, so let's have in there, we'll have a bit of ultramarine and a bit of that light red. Sort of a night sky. Right, I'll put a bit of a, a bit of a background. So a bit of blue, a bit of Payne's grey, just a touch. I think my hake's losing bristles now, starting to wear out. So the good innings. So let's just Sienna. Don't put too much sparkle in this. Clip the paper. I'm not sure I like that green, but it will dry much lighter, and then I can I can detail over it with a bit of bit of texture. Okay, so we're similar colours. I'm using lovely burnt sienna and that and that lemon. Well, that can be yellow. Yeah, we're losing hair fast now. Right, okay, that will do for that for the moment. I'm just going to give it a dry, and then I'm going to do the tree. So, headphones off or on. Right, before I uh, I'll use I'll use this this one. Just want to put a bit of a detail on this path here. So Put a figure in there on that path, right? So um, I want a bit of bit of alizarin, a bit of bit of ultramarine. Just put some in behind here. 
the reason is that it gives an hopefully gives an impression of there being some three-dimensional trees it, because it's a cool color against the warmer colors I'm going to put on it hopefully will give a bit of the, the foliage on the uh, other side of the tree because it's a nice warm colour. Lovely brush this is. You know, all the money we spend on brushes. You find the old brushes and some of the ones you, you did you or you forgot you had turn out to be wonderful. Right, so um bit of burnt umber. Give that warm warm colour, and the, that should tone down the the black somewhat. Let's get some of that in. Right, now we'll put in a bit of uh, ivy, so a bit of blue, a bit of sienna. Just a bit of ivy, well, a lot of ivy. <laughs> okay, well, now we want to do some uh, detail in here. A bit of a shadow in. Just a bit of Payne's Grey and Burnt Sienna now. It's a lovely warm, rich dark. Uh, really thick. <coughs> bit of water. And that is dark there, probably a bit of cloud shadow on there, but that was just a guess. Get some warm colours in here. Okay. All right, a bit of burnt umber. Oh, 
red, red. So I'll get my little, little box of tricks out. There we are. Right, okay, so we'll have a nice red. Bit of a fat head there. No, a bit of God, is that that's ultramarine? Uh, we'll have another little figure. Over down here. Okay, notice that the heads, that's my eye line, the heads are level, but the feet go up. Unless he's got a bit of a hat on, but anyway, that'll, that'll do. It just adds a little bit of bit of interest. We'll put a couple of uh, birds. This is beautiful. Okay, that's a. Uh, I put in a mount. Mostly, I don't clean that palette. I'll keep that because all those lovely greys <coughs> or as Ebel Bresson would say filth <coughs> right I'm not going to do any more, more than that put the mouth on I like, I like this kind of if the colours are strong you want quite a light mount well there we are I hope you enjoyed that. Have, look me up on, uh, on Patreon if you want to contribute one or four dollars a month or for one month. It would help to pay for materials. Thanks for watching folks. Enjoy your weekend. Bye bye.